This video presents the major new features in the Aviva Communication Driver Spec 2023.1, which is a minor version continuation of version 2023 that was released last year. Cross-portfolio interoperability. Traditionally, operations control applications such as InTouch or System Platform access communication drivers data via a client-server model based on either OPC or SuiteLink. With the new release, we are introducing a new way to integrate data from external sources through an integrated global namespace, where operations control applications access communication drivers data directly without intermediary constructs such as DI objects. While offering only subtle changes initially, this new way of consuming communication drivers will see expanded capabilities with subsequent releases, including new data types, new patterns of communication, engineering effectiveness features, and more. Currently, Aviva Application Server is able to utilize the integrated global namespace, and other Aviva HMI SCADA components will follow. To illustrate this new capability, let's look at a simple demonstration where the MQTT driver acquires data from spark plug devices in the field. We have a couple of marine vessels that are reporting their position and course, as well as a few wind power generators. Inspecting the driver configuration, we can see that for this particular driver instance, SweetLink and OPC are disabled, and it is only the new PCS integrated namespace that is enabled. Utilizing the global namespace requires that the driver is represented by a scope name that is unique across the solution. I picked simply MQTT as a scope for, for this demo. Heading over to Aviva Application Server, we can inspect how objects in the asset model are configured to acquire data from the driver. The syntax is simply the tag address prefixed by the scope name I had configured for the driver instance. Since this is a global namespace, the underlying infrastructure resolves which node that is hosting the driver and the application configuration is as such not hard-coded to a specific computer hostname. Quick look when object viewer verified that we're getting good data. We can also head over to the operations management interface and see a graphical representation of the data acquired from the Sparkplug nodes. The Communication Drivers SDK. The 2023.1 release includes for the first time the Communication Drivers SDK, which enables customers and partners to build OS server communication drivers for use with Aviva Operations Control Solutions. The new SDK is the successor of the legacy DA Server Toolkit and provides migration of existing projects to the new codebase. The SDK includes hooks for custom licensing so that partners may commercialize drivers built with the SDK. To get started, developers may use a predefined solution template that with a few inputs stands up a complete Visual Studio solution including driver installer. The solution is ready to build and lacks only the protocol specific logic required by the targeted device. Driver enhancements. The 2023.1 release includes enhancements to several communication drivers. We are delighted to announce support for the Mitsubishi Melsec IQR series PLCs with the updated Melsec driver. Users of the code assistant SOMAC drivers may now secure RT3 connections with username password authentication. The TI500 driver has gained the ability to subscribe both signed and unsigned data through a single communication channel, thus requiring fewer connections to the PLC. The OPC UA client now enables configuration of a preferred sample rate per device group. The sample rate is uh, submitted to the connected OPC UA servers as a request for how fast the server shall pull its data source. With this setting, the client can be configured to ask the server for new data at a low frequency, but still get high resolution data from the server when data changes. The MQTT driver includes three distinct enhancements. First, the JSON VTQ1 format is now available as formatting option for the publisher. This is the same format used by the legacy MQTT feature in Gateway Driver, which is superseded by the independent MQTT driver. Furthermore, when using Sparkplug publishing conventions, the publisher now responds to state messages and emits birth messages when the primary application subscriber goes online. Finally, the MQTT driver has been fitted with an extended set of MQTT-specific diagnostic tags, which along with standard system tags can be used to diagnose and analyze driver behavior, 
and to notify users when there are items that require attention. Uh, for instance, uh, advanced notification of a certificate expiry or any uh, issues related to connectivity. This concludes the overview of new features in the Aviva Communication Driver Spec 2023.1. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting updates.